are back with another wedding update video. Okay, Google, how many days until September 24th, 2022? September 24th, 2022 is in 241 days. Nice. <laughs> We've been loving sharing the process of planning our wedding with you all, so if you're also planning a wedding or you're interested in the process, thinking about it, hopefully these videos have been interesting for you. I think our first big update that we have, we're kind of getting to the point where we finally have more meaty updates more frequently because we're kind of getting down to the last eight months and things are really starting to happen. So I think our big first one is finally revealing the location of our bachelorette party. Ready to pop! I think that we would both agree that picking the bachelorette destination was probably the hardest thing we planned yet. Oh, for sure. Um, we Way had we, we argued about it. We went back and forth about it. We like just it took us forever. And that was the one thing that we wanted to kind of like pick the location so that our part our wedding party can kind of start planning it. We truly agonized over this decision. Really Definitely did. the <laughs> hardest thing. We had some important prerequisites. It needed to be in a place that was warm and fun to visit and um, it had lots of activities to do, but also in a way that we were able to easily access those activities. So it's like a bigger group to transport to other places. Yeah, so, and then places that were closer to activities, we often found that we weren't as impressed with the quality of those Airbnbs. So a couple of the other places we considered, we considered Vegas, doesn't everybody, I feel like everyone considers Vegas for their bachelorette. Um, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, um, and like Southern California, Malibu area. Arizona too. Arizona, yeah. We really did. We were like, let's let's look outside the box. And the minute that we did that, we came up with where we ended up deciding on. We selected, drum roll please. At the same time. <laughs> Cancun in Mexico. We chose an adorable little villa there that has a pool. It's really close and walking distance to the beach and to so many fun local activities. And there's plenty of room for everyone to stay. Honestly, it was the cheapest option out of all the options that we considered, surprisingly as well. So if you're thinking about a destination event of some kind, um, Maybe Mexico could be an option. Yeah, because this is a destination that we're going with, I think there's 10 of us total. Um, we wanted it to be a little bit price conscious just because we have so many like elements, like so many moving parts to the Bachelorette. Um, it's also really affordable to fly there from Chicago. Yeah. So I think it was gonna be the most considerate of everyone in our wedding party being able to get there easily. I think we're planning loosely to do a night out on the town and then a night in our Airbnb because Sarah and I just want to spend a lot of time with our wedding party and while I think everyone in our wedding party has spent time together, maybe a couple people haven't met, but like we want this to be a time where everyone can kind of get to know each other and like prep for the weddings. We hadn't already said this before, we are having a joint bachelorette party because we have all the oh, same yeah. friends so we just kind of have one big combined wedding party and that will be happening at the end of July so we have a little bit of time but that's out of our hands now, honestly our wedding party is planning the whole thing so. They're gonna be amazing. A little bit of an invitation update. I did sketch out the bridal shower invitation that we're gonna have for our bridal shower that's happening in early July. Um, I'll put it up on the screen. You can kind of see the style that we're going for. Um, we have some elements of green kind of going throughout the wedding, so I wanted to make this more colorful because it's, you know, a bridal shower, so it's a little bit more fun. And um, it's gonna be at a winery, so I put some grapevines on there. It's really cute. I feel like the grapevines were my idea, and I don't feel like I get enough credit. <laughs> the grapevines are your idea. <laughs> Rachel's mom and grandma are going to be planning the majority of the bridal shower stuff and they did get these adorable little uh, mini charcuterie boards so the way that they're going to do refreshments at the bridal shower is going to be personal sized um, charcuterie. charcuterie boards with cute little treats and chocolates and stuff on there that everyone can take so which pairs really so well cute. it pairs really well with wine yeah like so. wine and cheese and chocolate on the same note as invitations um we have started the process of our actual wedding invitations uh beginning i kind of want to loosely finish those in February because um, we want to start getting them out soon so yeah. February is going to be my big invitation month I'm going to order a bunch of stuff and try to pair some stuff together and design those so I'll put some inspiration photos on the screen um, we want very like dark moody trendy like, but we want them to be very classic looking um, we want wax seals the whole bit everything in um, the suite so I'm so excited to design those and share them We've done a few other little things like kind of finalizing with our wedding planner. So Shout out to Emily. She's going to be our wedding planner. She's the best. I cannot wait to plan more of this date with her. So we're going to look into an officiant, like some of those other details. I think flowers, a little bit of progress yeah. too. So mm -hmm. 
kind of coming together with things, but on to the big focus of this video. We finally said yes to the dress. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate it. No, but we picked out our wedding dresses that we're gonna be wearing for the ceremony yesterday, actually. So really, really excited. Really fresh on the mind. <laughs> yeah. We shared a little bit um, on our stories and stuff and um, on Instagram, but uh, I did get so many questions right off the bat if we saw each other's dresses. And I just want to say that first, we are not going to see each other's dresses. We want this to be a surprise, which is a very traditional wedding thing. We just, we don't, we're not going to get ready together. Yeah, we're not going to see the full look until the day of. We went to Deanna's Bridal, which is just right north of Chicago. It was really easy to get to. We went there yesterday with my mom and my grandma. So we had a little party of people and um, we got there and Sarah was in one section. I was in the other and my mom and grandma kind of went in between us both and we just tried on stuff and... I think we, I think I tried on about 10 dresses and you tried on about like five or six, right? Yeah, I tried on like five dresses. I really knew what I wanted going into mm -hmm. it. So, I mean, it was no surprise that she took a lot longer to decide. <laughs> okay. that. I don't think anyone was shocked by that. Um, but I really knew what I wanted going into it, so it wasn't too difficult for me to find something, but I'm super happy with the one I picked out. I'm going to put um, some photos of the ones that we did not pick, um, but I loved um, one specifically I'll put on the screen. It's a very vintage style dress that I just like loved. I almost went with it. Um, it's super classic, but I think this, the, the silhouette really looks good on me. Um, and I went with a similar, I guess, vibe with the one that I went with, so that's a little hint. For those of you who don't know, we are working with Allure Bridals, so they've been kind enough to help us find a big selection of dresses that we can pick from. They got loaners um, shipped to the store, so we had like plenty of selection to choose from, so I highly recommend taking a look at their selection. They have so many gorgeous gowns. I knew that for sure I wanted a long sleeve dress just because I feel like it really brings, uh, brings out the vibe of a fall wedding and I just really love the look of that so all the dresses I tried on were basically with long sleeves. I had one that was a close second that <laughs> I thought was just so beautiful and fairy tale like but I the one I ended up going with I think it's just perfect for me and really fits my style. Yeah that's what everyone said they said every like the one that I went with looks a lot like me and the one that she went with looks a lot like her and they look really good together so it was kind of just meant to be. This gives you a god complex. Thanks for watching another wedding update. We will probably do one of these again next month. Um, we appreciate you guys being here with this journey and I appreciate so many of the DMs and messages that we get about um, the excitement around our weddings. Feel free to ask any questions down below or send us a DM. We're super open to discussing details. I think it's difficult when there's so little transparency about the wedding industry, which mm -hmm. already tends to be very heteronormative. So trying to plan a wedding, especially as a young queer couple, can be really challenging. We fully intend to reveal all the details when this wedding is all over we're gonna go through and do a budget breakdown say what we spent we have no problem doing that so mm -hmm. please feel free to, uh, to ask any questions that you have all right we love you guys we'll see you in the next video bye